Hello, this is Darren. And this is Paige. And this is Where's, Where's the, the lemonade? lemonade? Where we talk about what happens when life throws you lemons. Make some lemonade? Uh, maybe. Some weeks it's lemon squares. Yeah, some weeks it's just lemons. Yeah. <laughs> On today's episode, we are going to revisit Valentine's Day again. Oh. Let's do it. You know, this last week with Valentine's Day happening, we went back and listened to our last podcast about Valentine's Day, and it was quite, it was really funny. That's Valentine's Day is humorous, wouldn't you say? Uh, it remind, <laughs> Valentine's Day reminds me of that, the Valentine's Day massacre in, uh, when was that, 1929, when these mobsters, they all showed up for the Valentine's Day feast. And were and met their demise, and that's how I think most men feel during Valentine's Day. Wow, <laughs> is all I have to say. Wow, it's it's so hard because. Well, all right, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> so we decided to do a follow up episode on Valentine's Day, and it's it's wonderful benefits, and it's what do you call the other side? A massacre, I guess. A, a massacre is the right yeah. word. Okay. So what do you want to talk about first? Well, I, I think first, let's see. What do women want for Valentine's Day? Well, what do I want? Or what do what do the studies and research let's say? Let's talk about what the studies and research say. And then okay. we'll talk about what Paige says she wants uh, and what she really wants. That's in the next section. So we can't talk about okay, that Okay. All right. So let's talk about what most women want. <laughs> Well, it says that most women want card, flowers, chocolate, and jewelry. Right? Yeah. And you want the first three. You don't care about the last one. No, I do not. I, in fact, I get mad if you spend money on jewelry. Why? I'm not a jewelry person at all. But you wear jewelry all the time. I wear my wedding ring. I wear a necklace and usually it's the same necklace. I'll pick one and wear it like just a little tiny choker thing type thing. And you'll wear it for months. I'll wear it for months and then I switch out for another one. And then I do put earrings on if I'm leaving the house, which in, during COVID hasn't been so much. Oh, but that's true. If I'm leaving the house, I usually put earrings on, but I want them to be cheap earrings. Because? Well, because I have been known <laughs> in the past... To lose them because I did not grow up wearing earrings because I I have had my ears pierced four different times. My ears are very sensitive. One of them since we've been married. Yes. They're very sensitive. They used to always close up and it was always a disaster. So I'm not the type of girl that's been wearing earrings since she was 10 or 12. It's been a recent thing in my 40s. Okay, so all right, so I'm off the hook on jewelry, but yes, totally off cards, the hook on jewelry. flowers, and chocolate. But I get you cards, flowers, and chocolate all year round. And okay, never mind. <laughs> but I think what it is clear, though, for <laughs> women want a gesture that shows that you're caring, that you care about them, and that you remember them. Yes, that's that's really what Valentine's Day is about. And would you agree that Valentine's Day seems to be? A holiday for the women. Yes. And let me, yes, I totally agree. So the women expect something from their man and the women go out and buy a lot of Valentine's things for their kids. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I never buy Valentine's things for the, the kids except for a flower for each one of my girls. Right. But you handle all that. Yes. I always make sure they have a card and... Um, if we're not seeing them, if they live far away, I'll, I'll mail them the, some chocolate. Yeah. You something. did that this year. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I think it's a woman's holiday. Okay. Are you so, okay with me saying that? Yeah. All right. All you women you out there that hate me now. Are you afraid you're going to get in trouble? Yeah. I think I'm going to get in trouble. Are you going to be canceled? Cancel I'm Darren. Cancel. I'm not woke <laughs> enough, I guess. <laughs> no. So let's back up for a second though. So you're saying you feel like most women expect something from their uh, significant, significant other, other. Yeah, yeah. but you don't feel like men um, expect something. I think men just hope to get through the day without disappointing their significant other. <laughs> so that's, see, you're hoping for something. <laughs> I am. I'm hoping for, no, men want sex on that day. Let's be clear. <laughs> okay. So that's what men want. 
That's what men want. Okay, but, Sex okay. and chocolate together Why on is that always fun. Day? Okay, we, we're, we're trying to keep it clean because it's a family <laughs> podcast. But why on that day? Well, because you just, I just made all these grand gestures. Okay, to, so it's like. Uh, so it's like reciprocating. It's, <laughs> I guess. I, I, it never happens, <laughs> though, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, yeah, we we'll talk, talk about we that. We were talking about this the other night. And we were talking about what our what our next podcast would be. And we started talking about, should we have another one on Valentine's Day? And we were talking about things just like this, a little more in detail because it was off air. Um, and I was crying. I was laughing so yeah, hard. Yeah, it was pretty funny. So, yeah. So I think I think men just want, really, I, I think they want to say, I made it through that day and it, nothing bad happened. <laughs> so sad well That's because so there's, sad. there's so much expectation built up around i need to show her how much i love her well is this enough or is this too much if i do it this year then next year what am i going to do next year okay i'm stopping you right there because you're you're already going into the next section oh, okay okay let's talk about expectations in reality because we already said it's an inequality holiday. Says you. Maybe that, I don't know if that's for every, would you say that oh, most of 80% your- 80% of the, um, the Valentine's Day cards that are bought are purchased by women. Okay, for their kids and- For their kids. Yeah, no, I think this is a big deal for yeah, women. Yeah, right. And so they go, they go far out to make sure their kids and you know their, their families are loved. Right. And then the man only has one job. And what's that? To do something spectacular for their woman. Okay, so okay, so you've just laid it out. It's it in, it it's an equal. It shouldn't it's, be. It shouldn't be difficult for the men then. Oh no, it's <laughs> extremely difficult. No, no, no. You just said no, the I, women. No, no, no. Hold on. You just said the women are spending time making sure everyone, their spouse and their kids and sometimes their grandkids are taken care of for this holiday and feel loved. And you just have to take care of one person. Oh, yeah, but you don't understand. <laughs> tell me. Please tell See, me. The more people you have to take care of, you can <laughs> oh. peanut butter everything. Oh, my oh, gosh. Tell, how many unique cards did you get for our kids this year? No, I, they were all the same. Okay. I But I did write something individually yes, in every card. You did. And not just love Paige and Darren or love mom and... Darren, and not just love, right? right yeah, I wrote yeah. something in each card. Okay, but I think I don't think you understand. There's a lot of pressure on men to get it right because you have expectations on what Valentine's Day should be, but you're not willing to tell us all the time. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. Okay, because last year when we did this podcast, it was a disaster last year. The night before we did our Valentine's Day podcast, right, you were all excited to do this podcast on Valentine's Day because I have always told you, I've always yeah, yeah, told you yeah. exactly what I expect. I would like a card and, you know. Yeah, you, you were easy, I thought. Yes. So I've always told you, oh, you just give me a card with something fun written inside of it and maybe, you know, some chocolates. I'm good. I don't even need flowers because you get me flowers so often. And you don't like to be told when you have to get me flowers. You like to get me flowers when you feel like it. Right, which is almost weekly. Okay, you do. You give yep. me a flower. So I love it. Okay, so last year when we were talking about this episode, you thought- I had all these grand plans. Piece of cake. So then we found this article. It. it was this lady you should be mad at. We found this article that opened up a can of worms. Do you remember this? Yes, you're highly <laughs> impressionable. That's what I learned by that. <laughs> No, this article said what I think most women, it, the article said, basically, all women, no, I shouldn't say all women, it, it didn't say all women, a lot of women have lowered their expectations for this day so as not to get disappointed or hurt. So I said to you, and you were like, oh, but that's not you. <laughs> and I got, I got woke. <laughs> and I said, well, of course, of course I want some grand gesture. Who doesn't? Of course I do. And you were really, you were like so blown away by that. You're like, but 
you always say that I only have to get you a card and some chocolates. But wait, you want more? And I said, well, of course I want more. Do I expect it? No. But do would I love it? Of course. Who wouldn't? But this really threw you for a loop. This is very confusing for us simple-minded <laughs> men. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't expect it, but I want it. Of course. Mind blown. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> my but so last year when I heard that I says okay I'm gonna do something big and I, I had in my mind to plan a trip. I'm not even talking to you about this because <laughs> then my mind was blown because on air he said to me last year yes this Valentine's Day I got, you said I gotta up my game. I did, and I had this whole thing all planned out. Blah, 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 blah. It fell through because I was whatever. worried about COVID. Oh, whatever. Lies. <laughs> These are lies. These are lies. No, I, I don't think you really. I actually spend quite a few days <laughs> thinking about things before <laughs> oh, I do them. Please do tell. Do tell. Yes, I do. Yes, and you're getting deeper. You've <laughs> No, I'm not. All you men out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, if I do that, so let's talk about that. Because the first Valentine's Day that we had together, I did a big, huge, grand gesture. Oh my gosh. And so I thought every Valentine's Day is going to be amazing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The end of the grand gesture ended up with you being mad at me. Because you were mad. I was only mad because there was a hole in the ceiling in the house. Right. And okay, nothing we can do about it. So, but that's a natural instinct for a man to get angry that I've got a hole I have to fix in the ceiling now. Okay, but there was nothing we could do about it in that moment. So let's just. But then you end up being mad at me. So because you were mad. I said I don't make any shots. <laughs> so his first Valentine's so Day, my first let's just, it no, did not end thing, the way that he wanted no, it, it to. No, it did not end the way I wanted to. <laughs> And I have blown up 150 balloons. Oh, and they had, and they had they little had messages in messages them. Messages in them. I went all the way back to the high school. It was a super huge grand gesture. It was so sweet. And it just fell on deaf ears. That so. is not true. It did not fall on deaf ears. It did not fall on deaf ears. That is so You're right. unfair. It, it wasn't deaf. It was very loud. <laughs> that is unfair. I got the look. Oh my gosh, that is unfair. <laughs> well, that's completely fair. It was it, <laughs> totally unfair. It ended very badly that day. It did. I agree. So I'm like, okay, do I ever do that again? No, I never do that again. Because every year there might get a hole in the ceiling for something. No, that you get mad at me. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, see how us men think. Oh my gosh, All you women out there, you know. You, it's just how it is. That is so minded. ridiculous. Okay, let's talk about our second Valentine's Day. Sure. This is, I really screwed this one up. Because I'm mad at you now. Oh, you can be mad at me all you want. Second Valentine's Day, I, we were traveling to Utah. On Valentine's Day, I did not get a card ahead of time. Zippo, nothing. Zippo, nothing. Nada. Totally blew it off. Yep. But apparently he was doing that because he was showing me that... He was never going to do a nice gesture maybe, again. Maybe I was. Mm -hmm, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, but I did get you a card at a gas station. At like 11 o'clock at night. Well, that's what time we got to Utah on our drive. Yeah. So. No, oh, that that was not good. I actually checked for a card in Elko, Nevada at the gas station. There. Whatever. Now you more lies. No, no, that's true. They didn't have any <laughs> They didn't have any cards. Oh, gosh. I know, it was pretty, that pretty awful. That would have been a nice one, too, from Elko, Nevada. I, well, you know. I love oh. you that much. Mm -hmm. I know. But I did good this year. You did do good this year. Yeah, I did. Or is it well? Did you do well or did you do good? Oh, just tell them what I did. I think you did well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so this year, we're, we were in Utah this again. This is our ninth Valentine's Day together. Our ninth Valentine's Day. And we were there because our grandbaby was born the day before Valentine's Day, two years ago. So yeah, she not was this year, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. So she was uh, turning two. We were there for her birthday party. And on Valentine's Day, you had a card for me, and I opened it up, and there was four... Um, dollars. Dollars, but not real dollars. It was like Monopoly money. And on those were written dance lesson. So you got four dance lessons for us to go take, private dance lessons, which is a big deal because you don't really care for that. No, I love dancing, not formal dancing. I have two left feet. 
I feel like an idiot when I'm sitting there and they're going, no, your left foot. <laughs> That's my left foot. Okay, my left foot. <laughs> two steps left. I, can I count the two? I don't know. So this was a big deal because I, I was in remedial PE in I know. That's, elementary school. I bet, I bet school. you were really still, cute in it. Yeah. So cute. Yeah, still having problems there. So yes, so that was super sweet. And you also bought me flowers. Well, yeah. I bought all my girls flowers and you. You did. And you threw them away. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> okay. We literally left yeah, Utah. We left Utah the day after Thanksgiving or the we Valentine's ever, Day. No, we left Utah on Valentine's Day. Oh, we did. We, That's it right. was Valentine's Day. He handed me these flowers, not in a vase. We're not at our house. He handed me these flowers. Well, I couldn't put them in a vase because we were about to get in the car. And then we drove four hours. And when we got to the hotel in Idaho, I said, you're not going to be offended that I mean, I, just, I wasn't offended. These flowers are going to die. So I was like, honey, thank you so much. And I threw them in the garbage. I was thinking about sitting on top of the car and letting them freeze. I think that would have been. Well, that would have only taken about 10 seconds. Yeah, it was very cold. Yes. Okay. So are you okay? (laughs) I'm okay. Because it was a good Valentine's Day. I finally figured out after nine years. Okay. So we need to talk about that though, right? What? We'll talk about what? Well, I don't feel like we've resolved anything about Valentine's Day no, for I think these we have. poor listeners. No, I think we have. We've you, confused them. No, I think what you have to do is set expectations. You need to tell me what you want, right? Okay, but let me just tell you something about women. I already know this. If I mean, I because sometimes I do. I am pretty good at letting you. I'm good at communicating my needs, right? I am. Yes, I'm yeah, good at you that. Are. But sometimes. You want to be surprised. Women want to be surprised. And they don't want to tell, have to tell their husband, okay, so for Valentine's Day, make sure you go get me a card and flowers and chocolate. We want to think that you did that all on your own and we didn't have to tell you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. But you can't get angry when that's all you get. Well, what? <laughs> you could be disappointed, but not angry. Deal. Deal. All right. <laughs> Okay, I know we all totally confused you in that last section. I'm super confused. But let's talk specifics now. Wait, can I can I ask you a question though? Sure. So in the future for Valentine's Day, let's yes. just get this out on the table. Should I expect a surprise or not? Yes. Okay. The surprise may be nothing at all. <laughs> no, no. You get no. nothing. No. No, no, no. There will always be some little tiny kind of surprise. Maybe it won't be on Valentine's Day. Maybe it'll be the day before, but don't do it the day after. <laughs> do it the day after. That would be bad. That's very, very, That's very bad. Very bad. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Let's talk about some ideas for Valentine's Day. We actually have some fun traditions for Valentine's Day. We do. And, and, we it, tra- and, and it's to take the pressure off of, it must be the most romantic day of the year. So we've never really done anything romantic on Valentine's Day. I tried day. to do something romantic on our first one. But... Oh my gosh. <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable but we don't no we we, we don't. took that away we took it all away there's no pressure on having to find a romantic restaurant and dressing up we don't do anything like that it is not expected nor do we need a surprise for that in fact we can't do it because we have another tradition that happens that day yes we do our valentine's day auction it's a food auction mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's in celebration of the Feast of St. Valentine's. That's what we're going to call it. I was going to say, that that has nothing to do with no, why I do No, but hey, it makes it sound good. <laughs> okay. But so we actually run the survivor game where they the kids buy their food. That's where I got it from. I got it from the Survivor um, television show where they have an auction and they, they give you money and they bring things out. And some things you can see and some things you don't and you bid on it. So that's what we do. We give the kids Monopoly money. And we did it this year with, we had all of our kids except for two. And if you, all of our kids and grandkids, there were 10, 11, 12 people there in the auction this year. I thought there was more than that. Cause we have, we now have, we have two in-laws and we had Jake's girlfriend and then we had the two grandbabies. Also 13. Yeah. So it was, it was our biggest one yet. And it was so fun. It was so fun. Especially the grandkids loved it. Oh my goodness. Emma, when she saw things that she wanted, she lasted about half the auction and then she came and helped me auction things off. So yes. we would decide together, are we going to cover this one so they can't see it? And then she was going, 
I really want this one. So and she'd said, run and she'd go sit back at her spot at the table <laughs> and try and get money from people because her money was all gone. So she'd go try and get, can I have some of your money? <laughs> she knew that it was there funny. Was... And the funniest part was I told Jacob ahead of time, Jacob is notorious in these uh, for bidding up items on the younger kids. And, and, and this making time, him cry. And making him cry. This time his wife, Andy, I think had a talk with him and said, let's not make Emma cry, our oldest granddaughter. Yeah. But her mom sure gave her a run for her money. She did. Yeah, Rachel was like, I'm not letting this off the hooker. If you want this unicorn pudding, you got to outbid me. You got to outbid me. Yeah. yeah, I think the unicorn pudding went for $500. So if anybody has um, any questions about the Valentine's Day auction, you can send me um, a message and I would be happy to give you the details. But it's a blast. It's fun. We've done it with friends before. Um, it's a blast. Yeah, it's it's a great tradition. Everyone loves it. Yep. And, you know, Very it's, fun. It's, so that took the pressure off of it, a romantic evening. Yes. But let's talk about ideas that men can give to women. Okay. A surprise. You want something. It doesn't have to be a big gesture. No, it doesn't. It can just be a thoughtful gift, something small. Very maybe small. A, a gift that reminds you of your first date. Yes. I remember my um, one of my good friends, her husband surprised her with it was a homemade card. And when I say homemade card, handmade card, it had, you know, her stickers and stamps and it was adorable. I mean, he spent a lot of time. It had a pop-up. It was so cute. All it was was a card, but she knew that he spent a lot of time on that. And that was like, she was just like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. I'm never going to throw this away. It's amazing. So it doesn't have to be something. I mean, just like this year, you gave me these dance lessons. That was awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, it was a good one. That was a very good one. It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be a trip to Europe. It does not have to but be a trip But that doesn't hurt. All we want, listen up, you, Darren, yes, and I'm, all men. Okay. All we want. Talk to the men on the All we want <laughs> is to know that our spouses, significant others, are thinking about us and have put some thought into something. That's all. That's all. Okay. That's all we need. Okay. Yep. Okay. So what else? What are there? What are, are there some ideas to give to men? Um, no grief on that day. No grief. <laughs> like I said before, men just want to get through the holiday without disappointing their spouse. So they just walk on eggshells all day. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but flowers, I think, are always a win. Oh, that men give to yeah. That men give. To oh, women. men give to. I thought yeah. you meant that women give to men. No, 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 no. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Flowers are always good, um, and you're always going to pay more on that day. So what? So what? Um, her favorite candy, her favorite ice cream, her fa right, her favorite. Or anything. maybe maybe a picture of something from her childhood. Yeah. Or just something that says, "I spent some time thinking about yep. you." I I was thinking about you. That's yes. That's so super important. Okay. So now. What can women do for men? Just not give them any grief? Is that what you were saying? Women don't give men grief? Uh, forgiveness on that day. Forgiveness on that day? awesome. Okay. And then... Or maybe the day after that day. <laughs> the day after? <laughs> forgiveness? Because <laughs> the women keep waiting, keep waiting for something great to appear. And when it doesn't... You know, here's forgive. one tip I, I would probably suggest. Yes. Just give them, give them something first thing in the morning. That's a good idea. Then they're like... Oh, he didn't get me anything, so he had to run errands today? Right. Because he forgot. Because you don't want it to be, oh, he didn't think about me until today. Right. Until it was reminded, right? Or, oh, I gave my present to him first. Now he's feeling obligated, right? Right. Yeah. And we're like, no, I don't feel obligated. I'm, I didn't do it, or I did do it. It's, it's just confusing. So men, just give her, give her something first thing in the morning. Good idea. That's a that will... you gave me the, my card first thing in the morning. Yes, I did this time. Yep, yep, it was very nice. So that I I think that's it. I mean, just you've got to spend the week before thinking about not just thinking. I spend way too much time thinking about what should I do instead of just well, just do something. Right. Not okay. at the gas station. Not if it involves the gas station, you should probably think of something else. <laughs> what about some <laughs> new tires for your car? That's not a good Valentine's Day gift. You could even one up that and get like a new vacuum. Ooh, a, a new vacuum. Oh my gosh. 
Seriously? That would be a really bad. I don't know. For Father's Day, you got me a cook stove. Yes, but you wanted that. Yes, you, were, want you were that. very excited about that. that. And actually, I wouldn't care if I got a new. If you got me a new vacuum, I'd be thrilled because I hate our vacuums. Yes, I know you do. <laughs> okay, the Lemonade Moment of the Week has to do with the great storm that passed over most of North America. Yes, so we went to Utah, and then we made a quick trip up to Idaho to see um, our- Jacob and Andy. Jacob and Andy, their apartment, and they were going to show us around the big metropolis of Rexburg, and- um, It's a small college town in the middle of nowhere. It was cold. And, and they got dumped on with snow, like so no much tomorrow. Snow. And we learned that our car- cannot handle the snow in any way no ford flex was built for california only yeah it's actually a surfer car that's surfers like it because the their surfboard can fit inside it's a long car. yeah yeah it is not a snow car no not at all. so we were stuck in jacob and andy's um parking lot and we had to put chains on to, to get, get out of the parking out. lot yes it was very cool and we went sledding um, which but was, so, so that's the lemons. It was cold and snowy. The lemonade part was we got to spend time with Andy and Jacob. We went sledding. We saw this ice palace. It's so freaking cold up there that they built an ice palace, <laughs> solid ice. It was massive. It was really cool. And we could walk up into it. I mean, it had was- it all lit up and Elsa and Olaf were there. Yeah, totally jealous. All you people out there that love Frozen. Oh, it was, it was really cool. It was really cool. But we got to was, dance with Olaf. It was- freezing we went on a sleigh ride we did go on a sleigh ride that was I most of our that, that was, was most of our first time sleigh ride we went on a sleigh ride um, took a tour of the byu campus there um and so we, yes there was a lot of lemonade that came out of that but I, what when we were driving back into california and we started to near Folsom our beautiful town, it was 63 degrees. And we were like, we're home, baby. We are home. Yeah, I love taking those trips because Paige will never want to live in the snow. And I'm 100% with that. If you like today's episode, give us five stars on iTunes, Spotify, Google. And head to Facebook and like us. And check out our blog at wheresthelemonade.org. Where you can leave questions and comments. And, but most of all, go out and make some lemonade. You betcha, baby. Mm -hmm.